to the boys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I fucked. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a couple days now. The last video I did what was in the K-Tune Shifter one. I just want to show you guys really quick for those of you that watched it. Um, kind of what I did to my lens. The lens is still usable. Um, if you guys watch my videos and you know I usually use my fisheye lens because I don't like being so zoomed in on. I like having the autofocus of this lens and being able to zoom in on stuff and get finer detail, but I don't like it being so zoomed in on me. So, yeah, kind of trash this lens a little bit. So I know it's all blown out and it's not wanting to focus on here because uh, the exposure is way off, but you see all those sparkles all over the lens? Um, that's actually like scratches from, uh, from sparks hitting it. And that was totally my bad. I just was not paying attention to where I had set my camera and I didn't know when I was cutting my center console, uh, the metal brick that holds it in place, I was not anticipating the sparks to fly directly at my lens. So um, the lens still functions and everything and you can't even see any of those scratches unless you're like in direct sunlight. Like you have a lens flare coming on then it just looks like a really gnarly lens flare. So um, all the more reason for me to save up and get a new lens now. I already have another lens that I want to that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna save that lens for like my skate videos and stuff. Um, but the lens I'm gonna be getting is going to be a little bit different. So, with that being said, um, on to today's video. So for today's video, I was more or less gonna touch up on a subject that I get asked a decent amount on my Instagram and stuff and I've seen in the comments a few times and that's about like brake booster deletes. Um, I'm running a Hush Performance brake booster delete here on my Integra and just a lot of people have a lot of questions on like what exactly it does, if it's worth it, how does it feel, um, and whatever. So I'm going to touch up on that. So pretty much a brake booster is essentially a space the piece, uh, it stores a lot of vacuum and it uses that vacuum to help um, push in the brakes essentially. So uh, using vacuum pressure, it makes braking a lot easier. It's the same concept as a power steering pump for power steering. Um, makes your steering easier obviously. So a brake booster makes braking easier. So plain and simple, that's all it does. It's uh, depending on what car it is, uh, it may take up a lot of space in the engine bay. So for some people, uh, some people delete it because they want to have more room, uh, maybe for engine purposes, for swaps or something, manifolds or whatnot. Uh, some people delete it because it looks nice if you're going for a show car look, and other people delete it because that's just it. Just they like how it feels. So I deleted mine more or less because I wanted to try it out. I wanted to know what it was, uh, what it was like um, in a car like my little Honda here, and I I thought it looked clean, so that's why I got rid of mine. There's a few different companies out there that actually make these, uh, Hush Performance being uh, the main one that I knew about. I think Chase Bays makes them. Uh, there's obviously a bunch of eBay uh, kits and whatnot, because essentially, for the most part, what it is is essentially a block-off plate that your brake master cylinder will attach to, and then you just plug up your vacuum line to your intake manifold, because that's 99% of the time is where the vacuum is coming from is your intake manifold. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just uh, like a, like I said, it's just deleting it. But with deleting it and whatnot, everybody always comes up with the question of what does it feel like? Is it worth it? Whatnot? So uh, I'm gonna try and be as like unbiased as I can with this answer because I like how it feels, but I also want to support Hush Performance because Robert is a friend of mine. But at the same time, I don't like it because I drive. Everybody obviously has their own driving style, and the way I drive is more aggressive. I like to do a lot of back road racing, like canyons and so on and so forth. Um, and for me, a big part of that would be braking. And obviously, I need to upgrade my brakes. I already know that. I wanna, I wanna do that. But just in general, the quickness of how I can brake, uh, my braking styles. I like to do a lot of left foot braking and a lot of heel toe down shifting. And although I can still do that with the brake booster elite, it just makes it harder for me to do because obviously the pedal gets more firm. If you've ever driven say like an old Datsun or an old pickup truck or something like that, chances are it probably didn't have a brake booster so that very firm pedal feel, that's essentially what you're going to be doing. Now there's ways to get around and make it a little bit easier to brake which is uh, what I did. I used the Honda CRX HF model 
um, brake master cylinder, which I want to say is a 13 fifteenths uh, in diameter for the bore size for the piston. So it's a little easier to press in than if I were using, uh, say, my stock uh, DA Integra master cylinder. So that's always something you can do, and then it also has to do with the brake lines you're using and whatnot, and obviously the calipers and whatnot. But yeah, just simply put, it just makes the pedal more firm. So um, I've been using it for a few months now, so I'm plenty used to it. Um, but it's definitely something that you have to get used to because a lot of people want to know right off the bat. And the easiest way I can kind of explain to uh, explain to find out what it feels like is just go out to your car and you can literally just unhook the vacuum line to your brake booster and just plug it with a bolt or something so that way your car doesn't die out or whatever. And um, yeah, and then you won't have vacuum to your booster and then your brakes will have no power. And essentially that's just a quick easy way to test it, see if you like it. But yeah, as for how it feels, it really just all comes down to preference. A lot of people don't mind the firm pedal feel, a lot of people like it because they feel as if it's more driver orientated, I guess you could say. It's more, um, you're not so prone to say locking up the brakes because you for or you physically have to push the pedal further down yourself. You don't have like the quickness of like slamming on the brake and having your booster uh, making it easy obviously and locking them up super quick because in my Del Sol which is my daily I've done that a few times emergency braking I don't have ABS and I've locked it up pretty easy and I've only locked up the brakes with the booster elite one time and that was just testing to see if I could lock it up obviously you still can um, but yeah it's really just personal preference like I said I love how it feels but just for my preference of my driving style and where I drive my car the most because this isn't my daily it's more of a weekend warrior um, yeah, I plan on switching back to a booster setup eventually, just so I can have my heel toe shifting a little bit more precise, you know, make it just a little easier to get that little bit of extra braking power in there. So I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to draw the topic out too much because it's really just simple. It's it's all preference and depending on obviously who you go with, it may be a uh, higher quality plate, it may look better, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, let me just show you really quick what it looks like. So don't mind the brake fluid everywhere because I ran into some issues when I was doing brakes uh, when I first did the swap. As you can see the brake fluid all over the firewall and all over the strut tower here. Um, but yeah, this plate right here, what you're looking at with the H on it, that would be your brake booster elite plate. So obviously there's no vacuum lines run to it. So here on my intake manifold with this vacuum cap right here, this is the port that would normally be running across the engine bay to my booster. So obviously if you're going for a clean look, that would be an issue because you can't really tuck that. But yeah, looks good, functions good. And it's really just not that bad. Like, you'll get used to it, like I said. So now comes the question of if you should do it or not. And uh, that really just depends on your situation. So, personally, I would not recommend using a brake booster delete on a daily driver because if you commute, say on freeway especially, and uh, you're going through traffic, somebody slams on their brakes. Yeah, if you have ABS, it'll help, but you're just, at least from what I've experienced, your response time is gonna be delayed quite a bit because of that firmer, your, that more firm feel. So, uh, whereas you'd be able to switch from gas to brake really quick and get it pressed in, ABS helps you out, whatnot. Cl uh, close call, uh, whatever, you brush it off. Uh, whereas with the booster delete, obviously again, you are gonna have that really firm pedal. It's going to be a lot harder to get that emergency braking situation taken care of and there's a chance that you could end up hitting somebody and um, you don't want to blame it on the booster delete. Got somebody at the end of the driveway right now just staring at me. This is really awkward. There's all tinted windows too so I can't even see what they're doing. But anyways, um, as for a race car setup, like I said, this is my weekend warrior race car and uh, I, I definitely I like it but I don't know how much I would like it on a track when there's other cars around me. Um, because I feel like that could be kind of sketchy, but again, like I said, a lot of people that I was reading up on before I ever did the Booster Elite were saying that they were, say, racing in Hondas or Miatas or something, Corvettes, and they just like it because for them, they didn't lock the brakes as much. They had a more response, responsive braking, I guess, maybe. That's how they worded it, but yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much if you're just not daily, if you're daily driving, I just don't recommend it, but if you are doing anything else, I say go for it. So I guess that black car that I was just staring at me is an Amazon delivery. It's awkward. But anyways, 
yeah, now that I got that out of the way, um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys my personal opinion on this. So if you want to pick up a brake break booster elite for yourself, I will have the link to the Hush Performance website down in the description below. Go pick one up. So I think I'm actually just going to wrap this video up here. I don't want to draw it out into anything else. Um, I'm sure it's already probably like five, six minutes long, which I feel is long enough for something of this topic. So again, like I said, uh, try it out for yourself. See if you like it, see if it's worth it to you. I mean, personally, I think it's worth it. It looks good. You can always switch back type thing. And uh, yeah, like I said, go pick one up from Hush Performance. Tell them I sent you. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to uh, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload because YouTube does not like to tell people. And uh, be sure to like and be sure to comment. And uh, also, I want to give a quick shout out to Hunter Vlogs. Go check him out. He just passed 4,000 subscribers, so that's a good milestone for him. Uh, if you guys are trying to figure out what other maybe Honda shows to watch, if that's what you're into, uh, then he'll he'll let you know every week who's popping. So guys, uh, like I said, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Do what you love. Figure out the rest, and um, see you in the next video. Peace out.